Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm showing you guys how to recreate one of my favorite autumn looks. When I think of autumn, I think of dark berry lips and warm colored eyes. Ta-da! And my face makeup is done and now we move on to the eyes. Using a crease brush, I blend in this golden peach color onto my crease using windscreen wiping motions. Don't worry if it looks messy because we are going to blend that out. Now using a blending brush, take a nude colour eyeshadow and blend out the harsh edges. You can also use the same colour to highlight underneath your brows. Now do those steps to your other eye and keep checking back and forth to make sure they both look even. Taking the same brush, Blend in a nude shimmery shadow underneath the crease and this will help to brighten up the eyes as well as make your crease appear stronger. This also blends out that harsh edge we have created on the crease earlier. Now to brighten up my eyes, I'm using a gold shadow on the inner corners of my eyes. I love adding gold tones when I'm using warm colours for a makeup look. To take it even further, I'm using a small brush with some brown eyeshadow to deepen up the crease. After that, keep blending as you go because the trick to a really nice cut crease is to keep blending and blending and blending. If I ever add too much colour by mistake, I'll always just blend it out. The trick is to use a light hand while you're blending and don't press too hard onto the skin. If you want to achieve a dramatic cut crease, maybe for an evening look or a dramatic look, I would say use a dark eyeshadow or even a black eyeshadow to deepen up the crease. But today I didn't feel like anything too dramatic, so I'm using the same colour again to deepen up my crease a little bit more. If you have mono lids or small eyelids, you can always fake a larger crease by going slightly higher than your natural crease. I find it's really helpful when you use a fine brush to apply eyeshadow onto your crease because it gives it that definition and clean line really really well. If you want your cut crease to be more defined, only blend out the top layer of the eyeshadow, not the bottom. If you blend out the bottom of the cut crease, it will become more blurred out which is nice for a soft look but if you want an undefined cut crease, it's better off keeping the bottom more sharp. I like to unify the whole eye makeup by using the same colours I've used on the top eyelid onto the lower lash line. Now just make sure the inner corners of the eyes are blended out. Now to smoke it out slightly, I'm taking the same dark brown shadow on the outer corners of the lower lash line. I don't want this look to be too smoky so I stop halfway where my iris is and I don't bring it all the way to the inner corners. Now I use a dark brown eyeliner and apply it to the lower lash line. Again, I only stop halfway. Now roughly fill in your top lash line with eyeliner and don't worry if it's messy because we're going to use liquid liner on top of this and it makes a great base for it to last even longer. This has been my little trick for years and it works because the pencil liner acts as a primer for the liquid liner. Now I'm going over that liner we just created with my liquid eyeliner and this will set it in place. Also get as close to the lash line as you can so there's no gaps. After the baseline is created, I'm going to slightly wing it out outwards. Now using your favourite mascara, lightly coat your top lashes and you can curl your lashes if you want but I didn't. Don't forget to coat your bottom lashes and I like to do a few more coats because I will be using falsies and I want the bottom to look a little bit more voluminous. These are one of my favourite lashes because they are double stacked so they look very fluffy and voluminous. Look at the difference that wearing false lashes make, they really open up your eyes. Sometimes after applying falsies, you notice there's some gaps between the lashes and the eyeliner or maybe that the glue is showing. So make sure you go back in with a liquid liner and fill those gaps in. Yay! So the eye makeup is now complete. You can now use any colour lipstick that you want to complete your look, but I'm going to look for a berry coloured lipstick. 
Now I've decided to use this new lip product that I just bought. I've always used Vela lips but they had just released 5 new shades so this colour caught my eye. I just love the berry colour. It's not too red, it's not too purple and I find with these new colours it must have been a new formula included because it's more moisturising. And you can see that I haven't used the lip liner underneath so you can see the colour payoff is strong. It's not drying and I love matte lips because it just lasts so long during the day. And now we are done. You can see how this look created and you can always substitute the products or even change the colours I've used. But I love berry lips. I would even wear it all year round. It doesn't matter if it's autumn or winter. You can wear any colours as long as you feel comfortable. Thank you so much guys for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!